I just bought a 3D printer. Hey there, so I just bought this Monoprice Maker Select Plus. Some might recognize that this is pretty much a clone of the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus, and it is pretty much in just about every way possible, but it was a little bit cheaper and was gonna ship to me a lot faster. So let's take a step back in time before I put it together and take it out of the box. I was not expecting this. Right here on the bill plate, it looks like they have a little test, which is pretty cool. And it's still stuck on there. I tried moving it. <laughs> I've taken some time to put this together and make sure all the screws and stuff are tight everywhere. Um, cable managed a little bit depending on uh, the position of the print head over here. <laughs> and uh, assembly was really easy aside from the four screws I showed on camera. Uh, all these cables basically are letter to letter, B to B, <laughs> D to D. <laughs> A to A, etc. and so forth. <laughs> and uh, I also attached this off camera. It's pretty simple as well. This uh, screws together up here and a couple of screws down here. So that's not for grabbing it by. <laughs> but it, uh, as I mentioned before, I came with this little print. So I think I wanna try to scrape that off on camera and see how that actually goes. and. And uh, actually, before we do that, I wanted to let you guys see it turning on. So, there's the screen. Pretty straightforward and fairly simple to use. It's a touch screen in case you don't know already. And uh, oh, let's not use that. So there's a home all button over here under system. And I just want to show you every bit moving.
I accidentally unplugged the printer. I wound up trying to improve the lighting and the camera angle and accidentally unplugged my printer in the process. But as you can see, what we're printing there is basically just the butterfly that I already have. So we started printing it and it's printing good. It's printing pretty much exactly as the other one had. So I'm pretty excited. This looks really good as far as uh, it being set up. While the second print starts up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the included prints on the included SD card. Uh, these prints, it came with four, but these prints were not labeled at all whatsoever, which uh, I'm gonna use as an excuse for the camera angle here. Kind of um, is from the back of what this print is. It turns out to be a recliner. Uh, I try to get it from the side later, but I still don't know what it is at that point. <laughs> so uh, the included prints are simply labeled one, two, three, and four. I've since corrected them on my SD card, but uh, with it came a butterfly, a recliner with a little pillow. Uh, we'll, you'll get to see that later, uh, along with a swan and an elephant. So while we jump around here a little bit, I wanted to take a moment to let you guys actually hear what the printer sounds like. So I'm going to include uh, a minute or two of just straight printing, no time lapse. Uh, you can click a, the link below to jump ahead straight to the time lapse, but this is sort of a, of a review and uh, so I want you guys to hear what it sounds like and uh, just enjoy what a 3D printer is like. I find it quite mesmerizing, so I, I've personally enjoyed watching uh, straight uh, untime-lapsed shots, so I hope you enjoy this or find it at least useful if nothing else. You guys, this thing prints out amazing. <laughs> Look at this tiny thing. So I opted to just rip it off the build plate. In the future, I'm just gonna use the uh, included spatula. It removes very easily from the raft. And it is incredibly detailed. It even has a little lever on the side for the reclining action. Not to mention the little pillow in the middle. It, of course, is real tiny, but I think that's kind of the point, is to get uh, really fast prints to let you know what the quality is like and how it all works and everything. 
So after this, I just uh, printed out the third one, which happened to be a swan. I was doing some chores while this was printing, and I didn't really want to set up the time lapse again. It takes quite a lot of time. So I only caught the tail end of it, but that came out really nice too. And in the end, I have to say, I am very happy with my purchase, and I look forward to making prints in the future.